The Dongfeng-41, or DF-41, is not just a missile, it is a declaration, a stark, unyielding statement of technological power, national pride, and strategic deterrence. Born from the ambitions of the People's Republic of China to rise as a dominant global force, the DF-41 represents the pinnacle of Chinese missile technology and stands as one of the most formidable intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, ever built. Emerging from decades of relentless research, the DF-41 is China's answer to the long-standing nuclear capabilities of major global powers. It is a third-generation, solid-fueled road mobile ICBM developed by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology CALT, designed with the specific goal of penetrating even the most advanced missile defense systems on Earth. Its range is staggering, estimated between 12,000 to 15,000 kilometers, giving it the capability to strike virtually any target on the planet with lethal precision. From the heart of mainland China, the DF-41 can reach North America, Europe, and anywhere in Asia within minutes. That level of reach changes the geopolitical chessboard entirely. What elevates the DF-41 from a mere missile to a masterpiece of strategic engineering is not just its range or speed, although those are undeniably impressive, it's the integration of multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles MIRVs. This means a single DF-41 can carry multiple nuclear warheads, each capable of hitting different targets independently. In a single launch, the DF-41 could theoretically deliver up to 10 warheads, though it's more commonly equipped with 6 to 8. These warheads are equipped with countermeasures like decoys and penetration aids, designed to confuse and overwhelm enemy missile defenses. Simply put, even the most sophisticated defense systems would struggle, if not outright fail, to stop the DF-41 once it's in the air. Speed is another dimension where the DF-41 asserts its dominance. Traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 25, over 30,000 km per hour, it can reach its target faster than many defense systems can respond. Once launched, the opportunity to intercept it is minimal, turning the missile into a ghostly specter of destruction that appears only once it's too late. It's not just about brute force, it's about delivering that force in the most efficient, unstoppable, and terrifyingly precise manner possible. Beyond its physical characteristics, the DF-41's strategic value lies in its mobility. Unlike silo-based ICBMs, which are fixed and vulnerable to preemptive strikes, the DF-41 can be launched from mobile transporter erector launchers TEL's railcars, or even hidden in tunnel systems carved deep into China's mountainous terrain. Mobility grants survivability. Mobility ensures second strike capability. In the grim lexicon of nuclear deterrence, the DF-41 is the insurance policy that ensures no first strike against China could go unanswered. China's unveiling of the DF-41 was not just a military event, it was a symbolic gesture on the global stage. When it was first showcased during the 2019 National Day Military Parade, it didn't just display raw power, it showcased China's technological evolution, its military self-reliance, and its firm intention to no longer be seen as a secondary power in the world of nuclear deterrence. It was a message written in steel and fire, we are equal, we are prepared, and we will not be threatened. One cannot fully grasp the gravity of the DF-41 without understanding the doctrine behind it. China adheres to a, no first use, policy, stating that it will never be the first to use nuclear weapons in a conflict. But that policy relies on one vital principle, credible second strike capability. The DF-41 is the cornerstone of that principle. It, guarantees that even if China were attacked with nuclear weapons, it retains the ability to respond with overwhelming force. This missile is not a weapon of war, it's a weapon of peace maintained through fear. Peace enforced by the promise of mutual destruction. There is also an underlying technological achievement here that often goes unspoken. Creating an ICBM of this caliber, of this speed, range, and precision, requires a fusion of advanced science, from solid fuel propulsion to inertial navigation systems, from heat-resistant materials that can survive atmospheric re-entry at hypersonic speeds to the precision engineering needed to coordinate multiple re-entry vehicles. The DF-41 stands as a testament to China's emergence not just as a military power, but as a leader in aerospace and defense technology. It represents the height of human engineering aimed at achieving one of the most paradoxical goals of civilization, peace through deterrence. Critics may raise ethical concerns, as they should. The very existence of such weapons forces humanity to live under the constant threat of unimaginable destruction. But the reality of international politics is shaped by strength. In this realm, the DF-41 is not just a missile, 
It is a shield made of steel, silence, and deterrence. It ensures that no power can impose its will on another through intimidation. It establishes balance, and in a world increasingly filled with uncertainty, balance is perhaps the closest thing we have to peace. The DF-41 does not speak loudly. It does not boast in words. But its presence echoes through every military strategy meeting, every international negotiation table, and every war room simulation. It is the quiet guardian of Chinese sovereignty and the strategic equalizer in a world where strength dictates dialogue. For China, the DF-41 is not just a technological marvel, it is a symbol of resolve, readiness, and respect. In the shadows of rising global tensions, where alliances shift and ambitions clash, the DF-41 reminds the world that deterrence is still the most potent force in international relations. It is the invisible wall that guards nations and the silent oaths sworn in the name of peace, peace held not by the absence of weapons, but by the absolute certainty of their consequences. And in that fragile balance, the DF-41 stands like a sentinel in the dark, watching, waiting, and ensuring that some lines are never crossed.